Welcome to my daughter's shared nursery and toddler's room. So this has been a room in the works for many months. I did a DIY board and batten that I shared a video on back in February, so that has been many months ago. And I just haven't come together to finish up doing the room and getting a video out for you until now. So we haven't done a whole lot more than that other than some few beautiful touches and some finds from Marketplace and just a few pieces of art and things like that. So I thought I would share how we make this space for a one-year-old and three-year-old work that's practical and that is still beautiful. So to begin with, this room, I don't have a lot of footage from before. So when we bought this space, the walls were tan. I had a built-in in in the corner, which I wish I would have saved, but I sold it. And it was purple behind that. And then I painted it when my firstborn was born, this um, garden stone gray, which is in a lot of our house. And I just did that, added this crib we have, and didn't do a whole lot, just kind of threw things in here and made that a nursery. And I think I did share a video on that here on YouTube back, oh, three years ago. So if you're interested in that, you can look at it. We also had a full size bed in here for guests because this is a two bedroom house. Our bedroom, my husband and mine, and the girls' bedroom. So we needed a space for guests as well. And so then once our second was born, and after we finally got her moved in here, we needed to do something more with this room. And I wanted to add more character with the board and batten. So instead of just painting the walls a different color, we decided to go with some character and we did the board and batten DIY, which I think turned out lovely. I didn't want to go with girlish colors because we do plan to have more and if we have a boy, I don't want pink walls and um, girlish tones that I would have to end up changing out. So the board and batten, we just did a darker tone of gray, which I think, think works beautifully in here. It kind of pulls out all the blues I have in here and then the touches of the florals. I just think it came together really well and it isn't overbearing girl. So um, the board and batten was done and it just added a nice texture and some character that I wanted in this room. So then just for my toddler, um, we have a twin bed obviously for her and it was just so simple to put that in there with some beautiful bedding we ordered off of Amazon. I'll put the links in the description box. I love this vintage floral look. It kind of looks like a homemade quilt, yet it's not and the sheets have just some neutral uh, floral greens type of pattern on it. And I just think it's so cute for a little girl's room to have that. And the bed skirt we got from our bin store for a dollar on their dollar day. And so just having that pop of pink against a blue rug, I thought was really a nice contrast and beautiful. And so the rug, I didn't buy actually my mom bought it for someone else that they didn't want and we didn't have a rug in here many years ago so I kept it and yes it is very it's very blue it's like um, turquoise aqua very very blue but you know it's kind of fun it's kind of a nice pop of color for a little kid's room which I think is okay to have some nice color in a kid's room and so then to the dresser that was a marketplace find i want to say a year and a half ago or so um 40 dollars on marketplace it was already painted that blue it's got some scratches got some wear but i wanted something lower than the window because i didn't want to block that light and i wanted them to be able to have like nightstand when they get older especially with my toddler she has her alarm clock on it and she can put her water by the bed and just have that available for her at her level. And they can also get their own clothes out then too because the drawers are at their level. And yes, there's only two drawers and we do have our closet over here, but they share the drawers, they share the closet. I try to keep clothes a little bit more minimal so we don't have multiple drawers full of clothes. 
And then I just kept it really simple on top of the dresser with a basket for diapers and wipes, my cloth diapers and wipes for my little girl. And then just some fresh flowers because it is summer still in the winter months. I'm sure I'll put some faux flowers or something else on there. And the girls don't really seem to mind having those there and they don't play with them too much. So like I said, just super minimal and simple on there. The curtain on um, both windows, I just have one. I would like to find two eventually. Um, they were just some uh, thrift store finds many, many years ago. So those curtains have been in here quite a while, but it adds that little, another like sunshine because it's got a little bit of yellow. So it adds that just pop of color again with the yellow um, pattern of whatever is going on on the pattern of the curtain. And then just having a basket on the other side with blankets in it. And um, it kind of hides that air vent a little bit too. But when it gets hot, I do move the basket because the air needs to circulate up a little bit more. Then over to the crib, it was a gift for my firstborn. It's just a Graco brand, nothing special. Maybe eventually I'll find a cute antique crib or vintage crib, but it's functional. It turns into a toddler bed. The mattress can be raised and lowered. You know, sometimes function, and if it's a gift, is better than finding something super cute, paying a high price. So I just made it work with this crib here. And then um, put some stuffies in there for my 14 month old. And then to the wall, the art pieces, those floral art pieces are some of my favorites. They were a rummage sale find, $4 a piece, uh, I want to say a year and a half ago. So once I found those, I knew I wanted to go with the floral pattern in the rest of the space because I think it just, again, is kind of that little girl's room, having some little flowers. Um, my little toddler loves picking fresh flowers from my cut flower garden with me. So just kind of bringing all of that out in this space. And I just kept a macrame piece on the wall that I've had in here since we bought the place. So I might want to do something a little bit different with this wall because it seems kind of blah. And the macrame is not centered over my crib there. So I'm not sure if I want to move that, if I want to do a little gallery wall, what I would like to do in that space. Then over to this little corner. So that is my old, old chair that was gifted to us that I just covered with a vintage or an afghan blanket not vintage and it's very worn chair it doesn't match the aesthetic here but it was free and we just we kept it in here it's pretty comfortable it works for holding the little one um feeding her a bottle so that is why we have that chair here and the art diy that i did many many years ago with those embroidery hoops i just love kind of how that is floral again and it just is kind of vintage looking with that uh, scalloped type mirror that is going on over there so it's it's really a simple space i'm really trying to keep it minimal oh i do have my toy basket down here with some toys with a lid of course that was a thrift store fine five dollars for that basket um having toys in this little girls or little kids space i think is important for them but keeping them hidden is also nice. So a lidded basket is really nice or little trunk, I guess you would call that. And then that's just a crib on my toddler's side, just with her stuffies in it. And she likes to take out the stuffies and put her little babies in there as well too and put them in their crib to go to sleep. So like I said, it's just a super simple space, very affordable space to DIY. The board and batten was really affordable DIY. Um, the bedding was very affordable, getting things from thrift stores, marketplace, gifted. It's just a great way to go when you are trying to make a space functional yet beautiful and a shared space at that. So I hope this just inspires you if you're looking at how to make a space functional for your children or for you or how you can make a room work in your space and small spaces can still have a big impact with just some nice pretty touches or nice touches that you enjoy and that your kids will enjoy as well. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I'll talk with you in my next video.